it's Mary Jane and Jessica and Genevieve. Today we're making a trade video but before we start and show you the pets we just want to say all the rules and Jessica will do that in a minute but first um most of the pets that we want are on our wish list which will be uploaded either shortly before this video or shortly after i don't know because we're recording this before we made the wish list and it might be part of this video too yeah i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out <laughs> all right and now the rules okay so the first rule is that you need to send first we really don't want to be scammed and we just need you to send first the second rule is that you need parents permission this rule is really important because you're going to need your parents' permission to get out your address if we accept your trade, and you're going to need your parents to drive you to the post office to send the LPS. And you're just going to need your parents' permission. That's really important. The third rule is you must make a video of the LPS you want to trade. We don't know that you have the LPS, and we need to know. So. You can't just send pictures, you need to make a video of them, because we don't want to get scammed. Oh, and also, we need to know what condition the pet's in before we accept your trade. Rule number four. I'm sorry, but this trade is in the USA only. Shipping is just a lot of money for overseas, and we have all decided that we are only going to do one or two trades overseas only if the trade is very good. Rule number five, you have to pay your own shipping. If we accept your trade and you are going to send us your pets, you have to pay your own shipping and I have to pay my own shipping. So just think of this as like a tax. Most trades have tax. So yeah, just pay your shipping, thanks. Rule number six, you must send all the LPS at once. You may not send some LPS in one package and a few others in another at a different time. You have to send them all at once. If I get a package that does not have all the LPS in it, I will send it back to you and we will not send our package. Okay, now the pets. The first pet we're trading is this beagle that's brown with green eyes. She's in absolute perfect condition except one mark on her head. This is Old Savvy from Popular, so we need a pretty good trade for her. Next, we have this Whippet. She's in perfect condition with a blue magnet, so again, we do need a at least decent trade. Next, we have this, I think it's a, what is it? Not a Great Dane, um, I can't think of the breed right now, but it is, again, in perfect condition, except a nick on his paw, a nick in the paint, and there goes our Whippet. So, he has a red magnet, so, yeah. Next, this one needs a pretty good trait because this one is from when we were little. It's one of our favorites. His name is Liam, and he is in pretty good condition. His, the back of his head's just a little dirty. He does have a red magnet, so we do need a pretty good trait for him. Next, we have this. Maltese. Oh, and by the way, Liam, this dude, he's a uh, lab or golden retriever, whatever you call it. This is a Maltese. She does come with holes in the side of her head, so we didn't put those there. She has a little bit of glitter and dirt on the back of her head, and there's something in the corner of her ear. I don't know what that is. Like, or something. She has a red magnet, no rust. None of these pets had rust. And yeah, 
Right, so next is this dog. Um, I don't think he has a breed. He's pretty good condition, except some marks on his the back of his head. I don't know if you see it. Let me try and zoom in on it. It's hard to see. Um, <laughs> while they're there. And, um, so, yeah, he's a little bit dirty on the front of his head and the back. So, yeah. He is a red magnet. And from, I think it says, ah, 2004? So he's pretty old. Yeah. So next is this Dalmatian. He looks basically the same. His, the front of his head is a little dirty, but other than that, he's in pretty good condition. A little bit of dirt on his front paw. Also, Red Magnet, 2004. Yeah. Next is this. I have no idea what breed this is. I guess this would be like sort of a bull terrier. I don't know. He does have a teensy bit of rust. Red Magnet. Um, pretty good condition, except for a cute, a few, ah, a few marks on his back. Um, yeah. Next is this poodle. She's a beautiful pink, and she needs a pretty good trade. She's really old. I really like her. And she is a red magnet. Beautiful. Has a little bit of trouble standing up sometimes. But, yeah, it's just because of her shape. Next, there's this, I think, Scotty. And he, his eyes have a few marks on them. And... His paw does have a mark on it. Behind his ear, there's a mark. I think that's where our dog bit him or something. But, yeah, other than that, he's in relatively good condition. Nose is chipped. He's kind of old. Red magnet. 2004. Yeah, he does have difficulty standing up. is this terrier with hair perfect condition red magnet the works next we have this bird she is musical talent perfect condition no hole or anything she is from a blind bag so I can move her in the frame a little bit I'm sorry my hand and um next we have this. She does need a pretty good trade. She's quite beautiful. She's old. Beautiful peacock. Complete perfect condition except for one red mark on her tail. Next we have this super old bird. Um, no magnet or anything. Very beautiful. Uh, yeah. Uh, ugh. Why can't the bird stand up? Okay. And next we have this bee. Um, I think it's Generation 4. Um, cute. Um, a little bit dirty. It's okay, right? And next we have this duck. It's adorable. She has two red marks on the back of her head. Um, yeah. Uh, next, this one needs a pretty good trade since it's pretty old. I really like it, and she is a red magnet. So pretty, this butterfly. Next, it's another butterfly, very purpley, perfect condition, except she doesn't have a magnet. And I think it's a boy because they have no eyelashes. But anyways. Next, we have this Persian cat. Her eye, the pupil in her eye is a little chipped to be like a half moon, sort of. And she, her front paws, a little dirty. But, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah, it's like dominoes with these butterflies. Honestly. Yeah, very pretty. 
Next, she needs a pretty good trade because this beautiful number five short hair cat. Perfect condition. Um, beautiful. And next, we have a short hair cat that it's not in quite perfect condition. It has a white mark on it, the front of its head. Um, it's very old red magnet. By the way, this one's also a red magnet. I don't know if I showed you guys. Yeah. And, yeah. This one is very pretty. Um, she actually is a blue magnet. And I think she's from 2003. Ah. Yeah, I'm joking. It's from 2004. So next, this one needs a pretty good trade. I have no idea how many times I've said that in this video. But this is a limited edition shimmery guppy and it is adorable. Oh my god, I love this guppy so much. He's so cute. Alright. So next, again, this needs a pretty good trade. Because we really like it. This beautiful sparkly polar bear. By the way, the guppy is in perfect condition. This one, not so much. It has a couple red marks on the back of its head. Relatively good condition. Just a little bit of nicks and scratches. And next, there's the seal. Pretty cute. A um, little bit dirty on the back of its head. Um, yeah. Relatively good condition. Next, we have this adorable perfect condition seahorse oh my god that is so cute um but yeah and next we have this polar bear that again needs a pretty good trade because this is extremely old and very special and it has a couple of marks in the middle of its face sideways so it fits um next we have this mouse really cute i really like it needs a pretty good trade again um next so old mouse perfect condition just like the other mouse except it's a little smaller uh yep yeah. and next this cute little a uh, ferret, that's what it's called. Um, it has a blue magnet, so pretty old. And yeah. And last but not least, it's pretty hard to find this one. I don't even know where we got it, um, but I can't find it on eBay to like find the relative price on it. So it's pr extremely rare. Um, I can't find it anywhere. Like, not on Amazon, not on eBay, nowhere. I don't even know its number. Um, yeah, I think it's, like, late generation 2. Like, not in the magnets and stuff. Alright guys, so next, I have, we have for trade, this lion. It's in perfect condition. Um, has a whole... Uh, and um move to this side a little bit and um yeah. trying to adjust the camera and um we also have oh, this uh I'm trying to think of the name Jack Russell yeah um she has a little bit of rust. She's a hole and a mark on her paw. That's relatively it. Mm. Mm. Stand up, girly girl. Uh, can it work? There, it works. You get to sit in the corner with your face down. So next we got this limited edition zebra. 
needs a pretty good trade because relatively perfect condition and limited edition it's a little bit of gunk in his eyes but you can probably get that out with um a makeup remover yeah it's beautiful zebra limited edition and next we have this uh adorable turtle um it is in perfect condition uh red matte pigment yeah and last but not least this adorable snail oh my god i cannot stress this enough this needs a pretty good trade because i love it it's in perfect condition red magnet oh my god i love this snail so yeah and i will see you all later bye guys